This is my vlog. It's about my life and challenging the stories that we're given about what is going on in our world. Investigative, thoughtful, fun. Hello. We're going to Cambridge to join a Stop the War demonstration against what went on in Syria on Friday night and Saturday morning, namely bombing by the UK, the US and France. Why are we going? First of all, we don't agree with bombing other countries, especially if it may end up harming civilians. Secondly, we don't agree with taking military action without proper proof and evidence that's been made publicly available to support said military action. And thirdly, we don't agree with the waste of resources and money associated with just going into unnecessary wars. As you might have heard by now, um, the UK and US gave Russia and Syria advance warning on what was going on last week. So effectively, we ended up bombing a load of empty targets. Theresa May keeps saying, chemical warfare is abhorrent, and this is abhorrent, and that is abhorrent. I'll tell you what I think is abhorrent, and that is us wasting money bombing empty targets when we've got an NHS that's in crisis, when we've got educational institutions that need money, when we've got homeless people sleeping on the streets, and when you can't even drive down the road without hitting a pothole. And what's also abhorrent is the fact that I have to get up on a Sunday morning and go all the way to Cambridge to demonstrate against government stupidity when I'd rather be sat in my pyjamas eating crisps, to be quite honest. The money wasted here has been absolutely ridiculous. Theresa May should have got on the phone to Putin and Assad and Trump and all the rest of them and said, why don't we, instead of bombing a load of places, just get together and have a big old fire with piles of cash, because that's what they've done. Anyway, we're nearly there now. I'm hoping to find out a bit more about what a dying is today, because that's what's happening as part of this demonstration. Hopefully it'll be really effective, we'll spread the word, get the message out, and get more people joining up with the cause against war. Welcome today, thank you for everyone for turning up for Cambridge Stop the War protest as part of the national protest up and down the country. Stop bombing Syria! Yay! We're going to start with George with one of his anti-protest songs against war. children, it is women, it is men, it is civilians who end up dead, damaged, destroyed, killed, injured. And what then happens is that they leave behind them their families, they leave behind them their children, they leave behind them their partners. We cannot tolerate any longer a Prime Minister who believes that she has a right to go against the United Nations, that she has a right to ignore her own parliament, that she has a right to ignore us, the people. We say no to Theresa May. We say no to the bombing. I was born and I grew up in Iran during the war, the Iran-Iraq war, which the West, including our country now, was selling weapons to. And I know personally how it feels to live in a country under bombing. And I cannot believe for a second when Trump tries to pretend he cares about the Syrians or when Theresa May says, it's a humanitarian action that we're doing when Trump has given refugee status to 11 people last year. 11 Syrians got into America last year. 
and we have people in Calais, we have children separated from their families, and then we say we care about the Syrians. It's not about the Syrians. It's not. It's about selling arms and it's about money. That's all it is about. All the money, 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 money. There we go. I can't add much to that. That's what peaceful demonstration is all about. If you can, try and get along to a future Stop the War demonstration.